Hello and welcome to the Open Heavens Daily Devotional Review for today, 23rd of September 2020. Our topic today is looking unto Jesus. Hallelujah. Looking unto Jesus. Um, our Bible passage is taken from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 to 4. Hebrews 12, verse 1 to 4. Our memory verse is taken from Hebrews 12, verse 2. Hebrews 12, verse 2. Look it unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. I'll take that again. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. And you know, looking at this topic just brings to mind this hymn, um, Look and Leave, and I'll sing um, verse one of the hymn and the chorus. If you know the song, please sing along. Have a message from the Lord, hallelujah. This message unto you I'll give. It's recorded in this word, Hallelujah, it is only that you look and leave. Look and leave, my brother, leave. Look to Jesus now and leave. It's recorded in his word, Hallelujah. It is only that you look and leave. Amazing, amazing. That's what comes to mind when I think about looking unto Jesus. If you want to leave, if you want to stay alive spiritually and even live physically, you must keep your gaze on Jesus. You must fix your focus on Jesus. Like a flint, set your face on Jesus. Laser focus on Jesus. Focus itself is warfare because the core thing the enemy will seek to do is to distract you. It's to distract you whether with the pleasures of this world or with trials and tribulations. Try to move your gaze away from God. Try to take your eyes off Jesus so that you can begin to look to man, look to things, look to other things. And you know, just, just reduce your pursuit to carnal things. Because when we look to Jesus, we're seeking a treasure that is in heaven where moth locusts cannot eat it. So look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. Look unto Jesus, the only one that can truly save. Look unto Jesus, the one that can not only kill, but can also make alive. Look unto Jesus, our helper, our fortress. It pays to look unto Jesus. If you look unto man and a man even helps you, he can decide to start bragging around, without me, she can't be this, without me, he can't be that. But Jesus will never do that. Jesus will never do that. Seeking peace of mind, look unto Jesus. You're trusting God for a breakthrough, look unto Jesus. Oh, things are going smooth, look unto Jesus. Things are going well, look unto Jesus. The one who started the blessing. You know, it's easy how people say, oh, you have to know somebody before you can get something done. You have to know man, man, no man. Like we say in Nigeria, it's about strings. And I know, I know that yes, if God is going to help you, it's going to work through a man. But you have to look to God. Let God choose the man he will use for you. Don't make man your alpha and omega. Scripture says, woe unto him that trust in the harm of flesh. Don't put your faith, your confidence in man. Pursue God. The way some of, some of us give our devotion, time, and strategy to connecting with men, if we put half of that energy in connecting with God, our lives will be far, far better than it is. The way you try to be go to every event the man is attending, dress a certain way so that, that, your, that they can relate with you. You know, you are paying for programs, doing this, studying very hard. Doing every, if you give that attention to God, you would receive strategy that will cause men to, to seek you, that will call, cause kings to beckon on you, to come to your rising. 
So look to Jesus. I love what our Father and the Lord put in the first paragraph, and I'll read it. it says, who you look to will determine how far you go in life. I mean, let that sink in. I like to say that you cannot put God first and be the last in your generation. No. No. Unless you're just, you're just pretending and you don't have a, have a relationship, an intimate relationship with God, and you're just busy with church activities. That you sincerely put God first, you honor God with your decision, you live your life to please Him, even when it is just a thought in your mind. Knowing that God can hear your thoughts. You pull down wrong imaginations. You pull down lustful desires. You, you pull down angry thoughts, envy, just so that within and without, God is pleased with you. Mm. You cannot be the last in your generation. You will prosper. So Father and the Lord says, who you look to will determine how far you go in life. If you want to go far, you had better look to God. If you want to go far, look to God. You can look to a man. And the man that you are looking up to does not even know if you wake up tomorrow. The man that you are looking up to may be an official today, maybe the world yesterday, five years from now, he can be a nobody. Look to God. Says it can be a distraction sometimes to be surrounded by people who you think can help you, as it will become hard for you to look to God for everything that you need. What can man give to you? Can man keep you alive? Man cannot even heal himself. If he gives you money, can he give you prosperity? Think about that. If a man gives you money, can he give you prosperity? Because see, if, you, if there's no prosperity on your life, it's a matter of time that money will finish. It's a matter of time doors will shut against you. If a man builds you a house, can he give you sleep? If a man builds you a house, can he give you good health? Can he protect you? If a man gives you millions of bodyguards can he protect you spiritually you need to think about this so you know that you have to put your gaze your hope your confidence in god rather than run after men spend time chasing god god can turn your life and that of your generation around forever you don't need an appointment to see god he's everywhere and willing to help you. and i think that's why we even take the presence of god for granted if you have to, like the olden days, wait to a certain festival, buy rams, do this, do that. Some of us will really, really, you know, put our faith in God. But right now, the presence of God is here. You don't need an appointment. You can speak to him in your bathroom. You can speak to him in the car. You can speak to him in the kitchen. You can speak to him in your bedroom. He's not limited to the four walls of your church. Seek God. Chase after God. And sometimes the reason why we don't look unto God um, is because we have too many options. Sometimes one of the blessings that God will do, will do in our lives, one of the great things that God will do in our lives is to take us through a wilderness experience where we are trained to depend on Him. Some of the trials you're going through right now, it's not because of anything. It's just God teaching you to depend on Him. Where you're trained to depend because what God wants to do in your life is far, far, far above what any man can do for you. Look at our father and the Lord, Pastor Yadeboye. Who, who is who, who, which man can make him who he is today? How many of his kind can we find in our generation in the world today? Who can make him who can give him the influence, the name? The power that God has given to him, the wisdom, the favor that God has given to him. Who, who on earth can give it to him? So why do you give your devotion to men? Why do you give the best of your energy to men? The best of your passion, the best of your days, your youth to pursuing men. When you can pursue God. When you can pursue God that can cause strangers, that can cause even your enemies to bless you. They don't like you but they will still bless you. <laughs> they don't like you, but they will still bless you. God can bring a stranger from a faraway land to come and bless you. A stranger that does not even know your name, only knows your face, only has an address of where to find you. God that can open doors for you in places you have never been to before. God that can speak for you behind closed doors where you are not represented. Why not give your attention to him? Why not give your all to him? It may look slow because 
God is building you up. God is building your character. God is strengthening you. It may look like you're not as fast as, as others. People were networking, were connecting, and maybe some people are even going as far as dating. But see, you are growing. You are not a shooting star. You are a rising star. You will rise and stay there. And you would only go from glory to glory. You don't want sudden promotion. Because to every shortcut, there is a long story. To every shortcut in life, there is a long story. Go and look at men, believers and unbelievers who are successful today. They have a story. They have an history. They've grown over the years. Don't be in such a hurry. Don't be, don't, don't be too fast. Don't be faster than God. Look unto him. Praise God. Praise God. The Christian race is a race and we cannot finish the race without the help of God. You cannot even run that race without looking unto Jesus because there are too many things that will discourage you. Looking unto Jesus alone is what gives us joy. It's what gives us the grace, the hope. Because as you look unto Jesus, he's encouraging you, he's smiling at you, he's reminding you of the glorious future that you have in him. He's reminding you of the promises. He's speaking and silencing every fear in your heart. He's strengthening you. He's showing you how to run. He's giving you directions. That's what happens when you look unto Jesus. You know how mothers will, will have to encourage their toddlers when they need to run a race. It's always fun. You have to parents at the other end of the race, at the, at, at the end of the track, you know, saying things. Sometimes they have to hold candy, hold biscuits, so that the child is encouraged to run towards them. God also is holding the promises. It's showing you the glorious future. That your today may not make sense. It may not look like it, but I have a plan. I have an agenda for your life. I've not just called you to be a nobody. I am with you. I'm your sustenance. Praise God. So our confidence is in, in succeeding this race is placed in Jesus. We are encouraged to look unto him and him alone. Turn away from your past. That's not the place to look to. That's not the place. Yes, the past holds lessons. Learn from your past so that you don't repeat mistakes. There is wisdom in your past. Learn from the things you did not do right so you don't repeat the same mistake. But you cannot move forward by looking back. You cannot make progress in life by looking back. There is no future in your past. There is no future in your past. And cut off everyone that reminds you of your past. People who are so stuck on your past that they cannot see a glorious future. They cannot see your future. They don't desire more for you. Cut them off. So God is saying, our Father and the Lord is saying to us, they turn away from your past. Success, forgetting the glory of yesterday so that you are not illimited. You know, if you listen to some people, they'll say, Oh, I remember in 1989 when I bought this, this. I remember in 1979. Well, please, what about now? We're in 2020. What about now? Don't be so, don't build a tabernacle around one success, one encounter. Press for more. And if you're looking unto Jesus, there's always more. They looked unto him and their faces were not ashamed. Says the path of the, the righteous, it shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. There is more, more and more. Your path can grow brighter and brighter. You can go from glory to glory, from exploit to exploit. Your path can grow brighter and brighter. Don't limit yourself. Psalm 121 verse 1 to 2 says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord which made heaven and earth. I want to encourage you today, look unto God. Look unto the creator of heaven and earth. Look unto Jesus. And as you look unto him, I pray that the Father will give you a word of encouragement. That he will give you a sign today that he is with you. That he will strengthen your faith. Our action point says, never shift your gaze off Jesus, no matter what comes your way. Never shift your gaze off Jesus, no matter what comes your way. Thank you so much for staying with us today for the Open Heavens Daily Devotional Review. I pray that you have a lovely day.